What's a very important thing that your students have to do during the reading process? The answer, right after that. Hi guys and welcome on the channel, I'm Mike and this channel is here to help you with your English class, whatever if you're teaching ELA or ESL, offline or online. So if you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell to stay tuned when my videos come up. Today we'll conclude this video series about the reading process with a question I asked you in the previous video. What's a very important thing that your students have to do during the reading process? Congratulations to the winners! Don't forget to send me an email at the following address so that I can send you the flash game I made and I have been using for more than 10 years in my classes. Whatever if you have a great number of students or even only two students, this game is always a winner. Actually on sale for only $5 instead of $20. So rush to the link in the description down below and comment section to get it right now as it will be soon back to $20. Here we go with today's conclusion of this video series and that question. What's a very important thing that your students have to do during the reading process? During the reading process, remember your students to think when they read. For this, they have to use six different ways. Number one, connect. Think about what you already know about the story or the topic of the book or the text, connecting the information to your life. Number two, predict. Think about what the text or the book is going to tell you. Predict what might happen next. Three, picture. Think about using your senses, see, taste, smell to feel the author's word. Imagine the picture in your mind. 4. Question. Think about questions you want to ask when words or sentences do not make sense to you. Clarify your mind. 5. Summarize. Think about sorting out or classify information the text or the book gave you. Draw your conclusion from here. 6. Evaluate. Think about what you're reading and build your opinion and see if it makes sense to yourself. Thinking when reading stimulates your brain and allows you to think in new ways. Being actively engaged in what you are reading allows to ask questions. View different perspectives. Identify patterns and make connections. Reading is power and knowledge is power. Books contain so much knowledge, ideas that make people question how things are and make people see faults in our world, which can sometimes be a threat. A lack of knowledge can create ignorance, which creates people who are easier to control. Hope you liked that video series about the reading process and this new program on Mike Som ESL, ELA Teaching Tips. Next video series will be about, guess what? If you are an ELA teacher, you know that you have to teach the reading process and the... Just go down in the comment section and give me your answer and I'll feature you in the next video with again gifts for the first three people to answer. Don't forget to give some like and subscribe to let all the teachers know about this channel. Together we're stronger 
ESL ELA Power, happy teaching to all. Peace and love to all the children of this world.